what really helped me when I was beginning was to find a mentor. So I looked for a mentor and I trained under that mentor. And that mentor helped me to really set my goals, set my priorities, and look at my life not just in a one-year plan but also in a five-year, ten-year plan so that you can take baby steps towards that. At the same time, for fresh grads, the most important thing that you can do is to network and market yourself in such a way that people will really start to understand and know what it is that you can offer the workforce. Must have a power bank. <laughs> you need a power bank, some lip balm, a trusty cologne, some alcohol, and like rubbing alcohol, not like tequila in your backpack. And also maybe because of how hot the, the days can be, tissue and an electric pan, a tiny electric pan. To be able to handle work-life balance, you should know what your priorities are. You should be able to handle your time management well. And you should be able to always remember the people and the things that really matter. The reason why it's important to know your priorities is so that you can say yes and no to things. The only way that you can do that is if you know what your long-term goal is, what are your most important plans, and who are the people that you want to keep in your life and who you want to take care of and love and care for, right? So when you know these things, it's easier to balance your life and your work. And at the end of the day, the key to life is really balance. Just Google everything. That's the number one tip that I can give you. Google everything and have friends and ask friends who actually travel a lot. One thing that you can really do is just do your research. It's easy to do DIY trips when you know which apps to use, when you know um, which websites to go to for the best deals, and when you can actually schedule everything and research on everything. You can do it. Well, I have my own rule. You 60-40 rule go. 60% um, is money that you spend on necessary stuff. So that means your food, clothing, housing, everything that you need. Um, the other 10% is for money that you put into retirement. So yung mga dapat pag sa kasweldo mo, 10% lagi meron na magpunta sa pera na yung magagaluin for your retirement or for your future plans when you get older. Another 10% for money that you want to invest or money that you want to spend on um, business ideas or yung mga pwede mo paikutin pa na pera. And then the other 20% is really just savings for whatever. So for me, I would suggest to have at least three different bank accounts wherein meron kang money na pinapaikot mo, ginagamit mo palagi, money na for big spendings like travel, insurance, um, business ideas, and future investments. And then another bank account with money that you won't ever use until you're retired.